G'day and welcome to the Mad Dragons Vodcast. Uh, Matty Hasler was supposed to be doing this video but all tied up with work and was unable to get it done in time. So I'm trying to get it done before I have to head off to work. Uh, probably going to be late but uh, got to get this done, got to get this out there. This is a big one, Moses Suli. Now when you look through the Dragons team, it is stacked with blokes that had to live with enormous expectations as kids. Guys like Jack Bird, who was always predicted for greatness. Tau Tau Moga, who was picked to play Junior Kangaroos three times. Zach Lomax was the gifted one before he played NRL. But there are very few that had more hype and expectation than Moses Suli. Now, some of our current day youngsters come with plenty of hype, but again, Suli's height was on another level. Some blokes live up to their, their potential under that sort of pressure, like David Fafita, while others never make it, like Damien Chapman. Suli is now 23 years of age and has gone through multiple NRL clubs with his own attitude proving his only stumbling block. After debuting for the Tigers as an 18-year-old and looking at home among men, Sully was sacked as he didn't feel he needed to train, preferring to sleep in his car while his mates trained. The Bulldogs wasted no time in getting their hands on such a talented player. However, his attitude, once again, cost him an NRL contract with the Bulldogs sacking him less than a month after signing him, citing repeated indiscretions. Manly picked him up and he lasted five weeks at Manly before he was dropped for, for discipline reasons. He was given another chance at the Sea Eagles, but dropped again in early 2019 for again failing to adhere to disciplinary standards. Now, it seemed from the outside that maybe Des Hasler got through to him. Or maybe he finally grew up. As he ended up playing most of the games in 2019 and 2020. But in 2021, he became a target for teams defensively and was dropped, finding it difficult to get back into the team at Manly ahead of the likes of Brad Parker and Morgan Harper. There's no doubt that Moses Suli is a damaging force with the ball in hand, and if he can just hold his own defensively, he will be an important weapon for us in 2022 and beyond. But if his attitude and his defence continue to be an issue, I think he could well find himself in reserve grade by the end of the year. So there you have it. I think Moses Suli will certainly start the year in the centres for the St George Illawarra Dragons. Whether he stays there is entirely up to him. I hope that he does make a, make a go of it. He is an exciting player and he could well become a fan favourite if he is able to get anywhere near that potential he had as a, as a boom teenager. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, we've got another huge one tomorrow. We talked about those those boom youngsters coming through the Dragons ranks. They don't get any better than the, the, the one we're previewing tomorrow. That is Jaden Sullivan. I can't wait for that one. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for that and uh, follow the Mad Dragons on all their social media platforms. We'll see you tomorrow. Go the Mighty Dragons. Dragons! Yeah. Yeah.